hello beautiful people you're welcome to naho blessed youtube channel if you're watching this on facebook you are highly welcome i'm going to be dropping this tutorial on facebook too so you're highly welcome please follow this page so you don't miss out on the amazing tutorials i'm going to be dropping my youtube family you're highly welcome please subscribe if you haven't we are going to be drafting a basic bodice pattern okay this is an updated version you don't want to miss this one there are important things i would like to share with you guys especially on the back pattern so please watch this video till the end so i just draw straight lines at the upper parts and at the side this is my shoulder line and i'm going to cut off this um line here i just want to get a straight line that's the reason for this all right so i'm just going to cut it off i've done that i'm going to be starting my measurement from the shoulder line I'm going to be starting my measurement from there and this is the side my shoulder to bust measurement shoulder to bust is 10 inches i'm going to mark that and then shoulder to waist is 16 inches shoulder to hip line is 25 inches and then knee line as shoulder to knee is 38 inches i'm going to mark that out all right so just mark the length of the dress you are going to be working with i'm going to be stopping at the nail line i just mark the same measurement here just so i get a straight line okay so i'm just going to connect this dot together to get a straight line just like this so please work with your body measurement or your client's body measurement and um, work with the length of the dress we are going to be using this very pattern to make different dresses, different style with the same body size with this pattern. So if you want to stick to this channel, you want to watch this video. So this is our nail line, our hip line, our waist line, our bust line, and this is the shoulder line. The basic measurement for the neckline is 3 by 3. 3 inches for the neck width and 3 inches for the neck depth. If it's a plus size person, please make use of three and a half inch for both the neck width and the neck depth. I'm going to connect this together with a nice curve just like this. You can actually make use of your free hand, but please, if you can afford your French curves, do well to get them. All right. I'm going to mark the shoulder measurement divide by two. Shoulder divide by two. And I'm going to mark the same measurement to get the um armhole depth okay for the armhole depth you can actually make use of your round bust measurement divide by six plus one and a half inches i just mark the same measurements here just so i get a straight line so i'm just going to connect it with a straight line just like this sorry you want to take your shoulder slant before marking your armhole depth so the shoulder slant i'm using is one inch i'll connect it to the neck width just like this Remember, our shoulder is not straight. So you want to give it a slant. So that's what we just did here. So this part is not part of our measurement. We are going to cut it off. I'm going to place the armhole depth now from the shoulder slant. And I'm going to mark the armhole depth of 7 inches. That is the same shoulder measurement divided by 2. Okay. And like I said, you can make use of your bust measurement divided by 6 plus 1 and a half inches. And this is our chest line. At the chest line, I'm going to mark my bust circumference divided by 4. We are dividing our measurements by 4 because we are just marking one side of our body. And we have two sides for the front and two sides for the back. This is just one side of the front and it's going to be cut on fold to get the full side of the front. So I'm going to mark the bust measurement at the chest line. And I'm going to divide what I have here by 2. At the point, I'm going to go in by half inch. I'll connect this point together to get my armhole curve. Okay. So this is our armhole. Sorry, I'm taking my time for the sake of beginners. Okay. So this is the front armhole. Next, I'm going to mark nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement is seven and a half inches. I'll divide that by two. All right. That's bust to bust measurement. Divide it by two and I will take half half inch on both sides for my dart. I'll mark the same nipple to nipple measurements divided by two on the bust line. 
and i'm going to go down by one inch from the bust we don't want the darts to get to the bust point all right so i'm going to um extend the darts all the way to five inches below the waistline and i'll connect these lines together just like this with a straight line so after that i'll connect the dots at the waistline to the um one inch i came down with at the bust line connect it just like this and connect it to the five inches below the waistline just like this in our next video we are going to manipulate this dot in a situation where you don't want to stitch any dot on your dress but you still want it to be fitted you want to watch that video as well I hopefully I'm going to drop it after this video. So I will mark my sewing allowance of one and a half inch at the chest line. At the waistline, I'm going to mark the waist circumference divided by four. Okay, divided by four and mark it here. I'm going to replace this dart. Make sure you replace your dart. It's one inch dart, so I'm going to replace it and then add my sewing allowance of one and a half inch. At the hip line, I'm going to take the hip circumference, that's the round hip measurement, divide by four. And I'm going to add my sewing allowance of one and a half inch. So there's no dart on the hip to replace, all right? At the um, knee line, what I have at the hip line, I'm going to minus one and a half inch from what I have here. And that is what I'm going to mark at the knee line. If you want your nail to be if you want your dress to be more fitted you can make use of two inches instead of one and a half inch so i'm going to connect these dots together i'm going to extend this uh, bust measurement to the bust line make sure you have the same measurement at the bust line all right and then i'm going to connect the bust line to the waist line just like this okay I'm connecting them on the sewing allowance then i'm going to connect the waist to the then i'm going to connect the waist to the hip just like this with a curve make sure you're using a curve sorry i am not using the um hip allowance i'm supposed to connect it to the allowance all right so i'm just going to connect my waist to my hip just like this I've added my allowance on the pattern paper as you can see. So I'm going to connect the hip to the nail just like this. Okay, you can make use of a straight um, ruler, it's still fine. I'm going to cut this out. As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young It has just begun If you're still watching this video, thank you so much Please like this video, drop me a comment, I really appreciate Okay? Thank you For the back, I'm going to mark the same measurement Shoulder to bust point, which is 10 inches, 16 for the waist 25 for the hip and 38 for the um, nail, nail line. Okay, I mark the same thing here to get a straight line. I may, be, I may be fast with this because I want you guys to see something for this back piece. Very important. Okay, so I'll go ahead and connect these lines together to get a straight line. I want to cut this out so that it doesn't confuse us, okay? So for the back, this is the shoulder line, the bust line. And then this is our waist line, our hip line, and our nail line. I'm going to mark one and a half inch for our zipper allowance. At the center back, alright? I'm gonna create a straight line just like this. Then 
the next thing i'll be doing is i'm going to go in by half an inch at the waistline this is going to help eliminate zipper bulge but we are still going to do something else okay i'm going to connect that to the hip and i'll connect it all the way up to the shoulder this is going to help eliminate zipper bulge but we still have something very important to do at the back as well that will completely eliminate our zipper bulge this part is not going to be part of our measurement we are going to cut it out so our new zipper line now i'm going to mark one and a half inch from the new line from the new line now one and a half inch all the way so you blend it in to get your zipper measurement zipper allowance all right so i'm going to connect it like this so this is our new zipper allowance i hope this is very clear from the new line that's the lines we are going to be starting our measurement from this zipper allowance line i'm going to mark the neck width of three inches and the neck depth of um one and a half inch sorry i mistakenly mark um three inches three by three is for the front please for the back the neck depth is one and a half inches and that is what i'm going to be marking now okay one and a half inches for the neck depth and the same three inches for the neck width i'm going to mark the shoulder measurement of seven inches the same shoulder measurements with the um with the back with the front i mean I'm going to mark the same thing here to get a straight line. I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slant. I'll connect it to the neck width just like this. And I'm going to mark seven inches for the armhole depth. Okay, I'll connect it just like this. And this is our chest line. Okay, this is our chest line. I'm going to mark the bust side conference from this um um zipper line mark the bust circumference i'm going to mark the center of this armhole and then connect it with the curve just like this and this is the back armhole as you can see it's not the same with the front if you can remember so i'm going to add my sewing allowance of one and a half inch there and at the waistline i'm going to mark the waist circumference divide by four and I'm going to add one inch for that. We are going to add the dart later on. And then I'll add my one and a half inch sewing allowance. We are going to take the dart after we are done with our zipper bulge. So at the hip line, I'm going to mark the round hip measurement divided by four. And I'll add one and a half inch sewing allowance. I'll minus one and a half inch from the hip, from what I have at the hip line. And I'll mark that at the nail line. I'll make sure I extend the same measurement to my bust line, the same bust measurement to my bust line. Connect the bust to the waist, connect the waist to the hip with a cuff, just like we did to the front piece, the front pattern. And then I'll connect the hip to the knee line, just like this. Next, I'm going to show you how you can completely eliminate your zipper bulge from shoulder to waist of the back. It's not the same with the front because of the bust. Shoulder to waist of the front is longer than the shoulder to waist of the back. So if you use the same shoulder to waist for the back, you're going to have a zipper bulge. That's what is going to cause that folding. Except you're making a free dress. So I'm going to mark the sh shoulder to the waist of the back. And I'm going to reduce the excess allowance okay you can remove it completely i have one and a half inch i'm just going to take off one inch so i'll connect it to the waist to the side of the waist just like this make sure you connect it just like this the side must align with the front side 
so make sure what you are reducing is just on the center back so i'm going to reduce the length with one inch so we are going to close this but before then i'll have to cut off the excess pattern so that um i can work with the pattern freely all right so i'll just cut off the excess just like this so this is our neck the back neck and this is our shoulder slant cut it off i'm going to extend this um this line i'm going to extend this just like this just so i can um get a straight line So extend it and I'm going to slash open one of the that's leg okay slash open one of them don't cut it all the way to the end okay don't don't cut it all the way to the end except you are making use of um, except you are going to have joining at the at the waistline but this for the, this dress there's no joining so i'm just going to close it just like this if you're going to be using a side bust that for the front piece then you don't have to create that on the back just make use of the back length uh, measurement and then remove your that for the front then the length of the front is going to align with the length of the back i have a tutorial on that i'll drop the link in the description box the SX length is what is causing the zipper bulge. All right. Just tape it down and close it. And then I'm going to take my dart for the back. Remember, we added allowance, but we haven't taken the dart for the back. So I'm just going to mark that. My nipple to nipple measurements divide by two. Connect a straight line to the bust line. I'm going to extend the dart to five inch below the waist and i'm going to be making use of half five inch on both sides remember that's the allowance we left we left one inch for our dad so half half inch on both sides that's one inch connect it to the to the five inches below the waist and connect it to our bust all the way just like this and guys we are done with our back I forgot to cut this part off so I'm just going to cut it off just like this I'm going to show you how to manipulate your dad on your pattern in such a way that you have a fitted dress but you are not going to stitch any dads on the dress okay and that will be our next video we are going to manipulate all the dads so that we will not have any um that stitch showing on our dress but that is optional you can still have a neat job with your that stitch on it all right thank you so much for watching this video to this point if you find it helpful please like and drop a comment to encourage me okay i'll see you all in my next video bye